Every time I plunge myself into a Scrubs rewatch marathon, binge, what have you, I always find myself feeling the exact same way each and every time I come up on my favorite episode... episodes of Scrubs. Cause it's really two separate episodes, but the storyline is essentially the same one. Season 5, episode 20 and 21. My Lunch and My Fallen Idol. Though the B-plot of both episodes are mostly forgettable between the two episodes when in focus, they're still really good B-plots. My Lunch actually being one of my favorite B-plots where the girls are outing Todd as gay after finally having enough of his constant innuendos and harassment, to which Todd complies and shifts his attention towards the men instead. You and I should totally have sex sometime. Yeah, I knew this was gonna come back to me. And the women loving him as their new gay best friend. The episode ending with Todd revealing that he's not actually gay or straight. He's the Todd and he's got a lot of love to offer. Oh, and my fallen hero's B-plot being JD trying to get Turk to accept or connect with his new sensitive or sensi surgical attendee. Though it was really JD putting off to go see Dr. Cox after coming to work drunk after the events that transpired in the previous episode, they're all fine and dandy, it's all good. My favorite part of these episodes is really the meat, the beating heart of the storyline and it's Dr. Cox having a moment of weakness through his ambitions. Each episode of Scrubs is laced with an underlying message in which all the characters face similar dilemmas though through their own personalities and lifestyles I guess. It's how JD is able to elegantly wrap up each episode, except for that one time that Dr. Kelso did it instead. After JD begins to blame himself for the death of Jill, Dr. Cox finally agrees to have lunch with him if only to tell him that good doctors die the moment they begin to blame themselves for deaths they couldn't have prevented. The episode ends with the such thing happening to Dr. Cox after he transplanted organs infected with rabies into patients that he could have waited a little longer. Dr. Cox had no way of knowing that she had rabies as very few cases are reported every year and JD himself believed that Jill had overdosed herself after being down on her luck. My lunch's final moment where Dr. Cox battling to keep the patients alive to the song How to Save a Life, abusing the medical equipment after failing and storming off and JD telling him to get back to work since his shift isn't over, only for Dr. Cox to turn around with tears in his eyes saying, Yeah, you're right. Always gets me. Every single time. It's moments, heartfelt moments. <sighs> human moments such as these that make this show one of my favorites. The episode ends without a resolution, just a broken doctor blaming himself for the death of people he so badly wanted to save. But the true conclusion to this storyline holding off until the end of the next episode with JD finally going to visit his mentor after actively and vocally avoiding him all along. It wasn't because Dr. Cox did the same thing that he saved JD from doing in the previous episode, but because he came to work drunk. As JD would say, it scared him. It scared him to see his mentor, his idol, fall so hard as to show up to work intoxicated. This monologue from JD to Dr. Cox gets me every single time as well. I tried to convince myself the reason I didn't come earlier was because of you coming into work drunk. But that's not it. I was scared. I guess after all this time, I still think of you as like this superhero that will help me out in any situation I'm in. I needed that. But that's my problem, you know, and I'll deal with that. I guess I came over here to tell you how proud of you I am. Not because you did Because after 20 years of being a doctor, when things go badly, you still take it this hard. And I gotta tell you, man, I mean, that's the kind of doctor I wanna be. It's between these two concluding scenes from episodes 520 and 521 is why I love this show so much. It's definitely not the only reason I love the show because I love the humor as well as all the characters being so crazy fun, but it's these life moments directed with so much weight that give death to them. Zach Braff and John C. McKinley knocked it out of the park with these two episodes. As a patient, you definitely want to have doctors that care the way JD and Dr. Cox do. But apart from that, 
What I love the most is that Dr. Cox, who's usually the wise and seasoned doctor, has chink in his armor. His ambition got the best of him. He was driven and determined to save the life of patients that he jumped to early and face planted. Hard. Such good storytelling. I mean, that's, that's why these two episodes are my favorite in Scrubs. Hey everyone, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I just wanted to leave you off by asking you what's your favorite sitcom? What are your favorite moments in television? Let me know down below and I eagerly await your response. If you like this video, let me know and I'll make more. Share this video out to anybody who might enjoy it and let's our way into the next one.